what's up guys in this particular video we will be learning how to create animations with frame motion for the purpose of this video we'll be creating three different text animations we'll be creating a staggering letter pull up effect secondly also to create a text generate effect thirdly also to rotate between words and we will be achieving this with frame motion without wasting much time let's jump right into code so right now we have vs code open up what we just have here is a react application that was created with react right for the purpose of this video we'll just be using that and also we have theory css installed and if you could see here we have three different components one for our, the animate one two three we should serve for like our three different components for our animations so let's start from the first one so if we go into this components what we could currently see is just a component that displays some text and we are actually putting this text in a string literals and splitting them turning them into an array with the split method and also to map through each of that particular letters and showing it on our page okay so let's visualize how that looks okay as you can see on the screen we just have some text showing on the page and uh, let's let's animate in this so the kind of effect we're trying to achieve is this each of this each of the texts right are all going to be like coming out in a staggering in a staggering way or they are they are basically going to be staggering in the sense of like for example we have production comes up ready declarative animations okay so let's quickly create a variant we should be using down in our motion components we we'll call this full of variant and uh, the initial state of this particular animation we're just going to be starting on the y axis of 100 then uh, opacity of zero because we basically don't want to see the text on the start of this animation okay so on show of those text what we're saying here is start from the y axis of zero then at this point we should be able to see our animation on the opacity of one and we could also add a transition property inside this just add a delay of 0.08 quickly make use of this our variance down here in our motion components and let's create some space here and say this is just going to be a variance equals to then initial just going to be equals to the initial we set up there so at this point we shouldn't see the text on the screen because that's the opacity of of zero two so we can't see the text on the screen anymore um let's quickly add an index in, an index is just going to be text each of the iteration then set it to our key here cool so we have opacity of zero we can't see our text so now let's quickly animate to our shoe property which we set here so on animate of this particular elements we, want, we just want to show right now this is the animation if, if we refresh this okay cool starting of the animation we don't see the, we don't see the text then for the delay of 0 0.08 seconds we see the text right and basically coming from so on the y axis of zero amazing now we aren't done with the animation yet so what we need to do is what we said we, we are basically going to animate each of the letters directly but that is not what's happening right now so let's achieve that so for us to do that we need to be able to delay each of these letters right we have to delay each of the letters and for us to do that we need to add different different delay time for each of these different properties because at this point what we currently have here is just h ones and this p is an h1 the arrow is an h1 and the o is an h1 and also the d is an h1 all true like all the text we have here are just h ones right and we want to animate each and every one of them so for us to do that we just pass in a custom variable here which is just going to be i so custom variable basically is just the custom data you could use to resolve dynamic variants differently for each for each animating component what that means basically is you you could use this value directly inside your variants you could check out my other videos on frame motion if you still don't understand what's happening here um, because in the other video we get to break down each and every concept in frame motion okay so at this point this our variant should be able to make use of the value we are passing which is the index right so now we're going to make our show property a function which is just going to accept i as a parameter and i is just going to be a number let's just type this i is going to be a number and we're just going to use this in a let's format this properly it says i define whenever i use okay cool so let's make use of i so what we want to do is we want to delay each of this property by i by each of the index by 0 0.8 now if we format this properly we should get the staggering pull up effect at this point okay cool and um let's see it again okay so that is how you do it a staggering pull up effect so you could play with the properties for example the delay and also the duration properties and uh, you should be fine so next so next what we'll be doing right now is to work on the second animation so let's go back to our 
index here and um, take out this and just show a component down here out properly so let's go into animate 2 and see what we currently have here okay so what we just have here is also just a text uh, we're also splitting the text by showing the text in this showing the text converting each of the text into an array like what we did in the previous example and showing each of this value okay so let's add a little style into this let's say a class of paragraph or yeah be able to visualize this properly okay so for this effect we'll be taking this one step ahead and when i say ahead i mean we'll be taking it one step higher in frame and motion okay so for us to do this particular animation we are going to be using the use animate hook as provided from frame and motion directly when you're animating in frame and motion you have various options to animate your properties so you could make use of the motion components with your html tag directly here or you could just use the use animate which gives you more control over your animation where you could play and pause your animations and basically just a hook right which gives you some super edges compared to using motion component when working with animation we're just going to make use of our hook it's just going to be equals to use animate and the use animate exposes two values which, are, which is our scope and also the animate function to run our animation cool. and to run this animation we're just going to make use of a use effect so let's quickly import this from react the import from react cool and what we basically want to do here is we're going to make use of our function as available okay before we do that we need to set some values here this scope is basically available which we could use to reference our parent container here right then we'll basically use the animate function that is exposed from our hook to animate each of the child properties inside this particular parent okay let's see how we could do that so let's set the reference to this so this is just going to be our scope yeah then animate just going to take a value so we basically want to animate each of the spans inside this parent right because these are just all spans and uh, say we're going to set the value of the opacity to one also set the duration of two then we could quickly style this and add an opacity of zero so we don't see this text cool so we want this to run in our scope right dot current let's refresh the page and see cool so we've just been able to use the use animate hook to animate this children directly here but we are one step closer to where we are actually going with this animation okay so we just have this starting from the starting from the opacity of zero to the opacity of one that's just what's happening here so what we could do next is we could add a delay of let's say a delay of 0.2 right but we want this to happen to each of this item right not like to the whole text or to the whole container itself so, so for us to do that we need to be we need to be able to delay the animations on each of our items which is mapped on, across in our screen so we're just going to import saga which is available from framer motion and we are going to say saga is just going to be saga and it's just going to take our saga 0.2 and uh, let's correctly see this okay so this is cool so we could we could also tweak this to say this should have a delay of like 0.4 and see how this looks okay so that is how you create a text a text generates effect with frame motion so if you notice in this example what we just did instead of using our motion components or using a variant directly to define our animation we just made use of the use animate hook to run this animation okay cool so let's see the last text animation we are going to be creating with frame motion okay so in this third animation we're just going to be creating a kind of animation where we are going to be looping through each and every value we have here so for example we just want to show design therefore some interval we're going to show code and we're also going to show ux I mean, you must have seen that kind of like animations on most sites so we're going to, be going to create that from scratch so let's go back to our parents and take out this and what we just want here is okay cool so if you go back into this component what we just have here is design so we have to show each of each and every word here okay so for us to do that let's just create a, a use state which we're gonna refer to as index which is just gonna serve for each and every index for this particular array right it's just gonna be and uh, for the start index is just gonna be zero cool and what we could say here is we could say basically gonna show word which is our array for each index right words words okay cool so right now we just have an index of zero if we change this to say let's have the index of one we should have code cool so what we want to do is we want to be changing this value on interval for a particular time let's say two seconds change to the next text two seconds change the index to the next value 
and so on and so forth for this animation we are going to be running this animation for a particular time right so let's quickly import use effects from react directly and we're going to set this to also the import use effect and let's create an interval so basically our interval is just going to be a set interval right in function this function is going to run some values for a particular set of um, time so for our own case we're going to say 2000 milliseconds is just two seconds in real time so, so inside our set interval what we're going to say is we're going to set our index each and every of our index right to the previous index the previous index basically takes us the value of our previous index plus one and uh, we're gonna say in the, re the reminder of words which is our array we have up there then the length what this and uh, if you look at what we currently have here we just have for each of the seconds we have design ux code design ux code so let's let's increase this to like three seconds one last thing we could do here we could see we just do some cleanup with effects right and our interval and what particular interval are we going to be clearing on mount of this particular component our interval that our use effects here directly okay so what is happening we just have ux starting from design code ux when it gets to ux it starts from design again code ux ux starts from ux when it gets to ux it starts from design all over again so basically what, what we are doing here with this set interval we're just creating a set interval to or to execute this code for a particular period in milliseconds right okay so this this is just gonna run until this particular page is closed or until the clear interval is called so that's why we are using the clear interval here to clear this particular interval on mount of this particular component just to do some cleanup for our use effects cool basically what we're doing here we're using our setter for our states of set index and taking the previous value previously plus one right in the modulo of what dot length right so what we're saying here is so when previous plus one becomes equals to the word right equals to the word dot length we want to make a loop back to zero thereby restarting the animation and you can see that that's what's happening here when this is basically equal to when this previous plus one is equal to the word dot length it's gonna restart the animation from the beginning Ooh. and we are just doing this for three thousand milliseconds so this is looking kind of messy right now so let's fix it off with frame motion first off let's import our motion components from our frame motion and let's quickly make this our h1 motion components and we're gonna say on initial on the start of this particular component we just want this to have an opacity of of zero right we're not going to see anything on the screen anymore then it's going to start from the y axis of x minus 50 and on animate of this particular motion component we want it to show on the opacity of um, one basically showing it right and uh, we also are going to see on the y axis of zero let's do this and refresh the page all over again we have design we have code we have ux okay design code and also ux let's let's clean this up real quick so let's add a transition property say this animation should just run for like 0 0.05 right and uh, and on that thing we could do here we could also add the key the key of each of this particular components right it's just going to be equals to just words and each of the index we just created in our states in our use states so we have on initial starts from the top then animate to zero so it starts from the top this is coming from the top next one comes from the top to zero yeah cool so one last touch we could do here is say on exit right so basically when this particular component on mount or this particular motion component on mount we want it to have the opacity of zero to give that effect and we want it to have on the y axis of just 50. i think we could increase this value properly see this should just be like 100 pixels and uh, be able to see this properly okay cool okay you see it right now it starts from top and starts from the top of minus 50 comes to y of zero okay so now this animation right now is kind of looking looking very slaggy or should i say looking very 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 bad right so to, to us fix that we are just going to wrap our motion components around an animate present and um, i think we could just take this inside here so we could have a very clean smooth animation that way you could see this okay that's from design three seconds i think let's let's just reduce it to like two, two seconds so we could see it real quick okay cool and um let's just add a mode of weights the weights for each of the animations to 
enter and exit now we could take this back to three and format this properly okay okay so this is taking a whole lot of time to happen right now so let's quickly edit our duration let's make it 0 0.5 yeah and we'll be able to get that particular sliding effect so what's just happening here is we've set the initial to start from up right minus 50 then animate to zero y of zero as is then on exit when when it goes out it goes to opacity of zero and it goes to the y of 50. so with that you'll be able to have the smooth animation sliding in between these words so we could add more words to increase this animation this is how to implement an animation between each words i think at this point we've come to the end of this particular video if you like this video please leave it please leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and also share this video if you're also interested in other frame motion videos check out my other videos on frame motion